New at 10, a strange sighting is baffling Hill Country Village. A lot of activity that is unexplained to this day. Ever get the feeling there's more to the story than they're telling you? Like there's a whole secret chapter tucked away behind the history books? If you want a sneak peek at that hidden chapter, you've come to the right video. From Martian anomalies to ghostly apparitions and time-warping oddities, these images are about to rewrite what you thought you knew about the past. We've got 20 newly declassified historical photos, so are you ready to confront some unsettling truths? Let's dive in. Number 20. Ghost of Freddie Jackson A photo from World War I has everyone scratching their heads. It's a picture of a Royal Air Force squadron, nothing too special, except for one spooky detail. There's a guy in the picture who wasn't supposed to be there. Sir Victor Goddard, a dude who was actually in the photo, says the extra ghost-like figure is none other than Freddie Jackson, another pilot in the squadron. The only problem? Freddie tragically died just days before the picture was taken, accidentally walking into a spinning airplane propeller. So how'd Freddie end up in the picture, looking a little see-through and missing his hat while everyone else is looking spiffy? Some folks think it's a prank, while others believe poor Freddie's spirit just really wanted to be in the group shot, even after he passed on. The truth? Nobody knows for sure, and this spooky photo continues to be a baffling mystery. Number 19. Fresno Nightcrawler Forget Bigfoot. The Fresno Nightcrawler might be the internet's most hilarious cryptid. This whole thing started in 2007 with a guy named Jose in Fresno, California. His dog was barking like crazy at night, so he put up security cameras to see what was going on. Imagine his surprise when he checked the footage and saw what looked like a pair of ghostly white pants wandering through his yard. Jose, understandably freaked out, shared the video with a paranormal investigator and it quickly went viral. But the story gets even weirder. In 2011, similar footage emerged from Yosemite National Park, showing the same pants-like thing scooting across the ground. It was like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. So what is this mystery meatbag? Well, nobody really knows. Some folks think it's a cleverly done hoax. Others believe it's aliens, because why not? And some even tie it to Native American legends. The problem is, there's no real evidence to support any of these theories. The Fresno Nightcrawler might be all fun and games on the internet, but it remains an unsolved mystery, a testament to the weird and wonderful things that can go viral. Number 18. The Baltic Sea Anomaly it all started in 2011 when some Swedish divers stumbled on this weird 70-meter-long object sitting 100 meters deep under the Baltic Sea. But what did the sonographic image show? Nobody's sure. Of course, the internet went wild with theories. Was it a sunken UFO hiding out down there? Maybe a lost city swallowed by the sea? The possibilities seemed endless. Scientists, ever the party poopers, took a closer look and even collected some samples from the object. Their verdict? No aliens, no ancient civilization, just regular rocks. Bummer. One type of rock even hinted at the presence of lava, but that wasn't anything special. Glaciers can move all sorts of stuff around, so the experts are pretty much all on the same page. This anomaly is most likely something natural, like a pile of rocks left behind by glaciers or just a weird rock formation sticking out from the seabed. But the team who found it, Ocean X, aren't buying it. They claim the whole thing is unnatural because their equipment went haywire when they got close. Seems like this underwater mystery is still up for grabs. Number 17. SS Watertown Images A creepy photo from a 1925 ghost story has been raising eyebrows for decades. It all started aboard the oil tanker SS Watertown, where two sailors, James Courtney and Michael Meehan, tragically died in an accident and were buried at sea. The story goes that the crew started seeing the ghostly figures of Courtney and Meehan swimming alongside the ship. Even the captain got spooked and snapped a bunch of photos. One of them supposedly captured the faces of the deceased sailors, staring back at him because no one would believe him otherwise. This spooky story gained traction when it appeared in a magazine. But some folks thought the image might just be a case of our brains playing tricks on us. Seeing familiar shapes in random things, a researcher named Blake Smith decided to get to the bottom of the mystery. He traced the photo back to its original source and discovered some interesting details. The first picture, before anyone messed with it, showed faint figures in the corner, possibly the sailor's ghosts, but hidden by mist. 
This original photo even appeared in a newspaper, adding some weight to the initial sighting. However, Smith also found evidence that the widely circulated photo with the clearer faces had been tampered with. So, the big question remains. Was the photo a genuine capture of the paranormal, a well-meaning prank, or something else entirely? The mystery of the SS Watertown ghost photo continues to haunt and intrigue. Number 16. Bigfoot Footprint In 1976, Peter Byrne, a Bigfoot enthusiast and director of the Bigfoot Information Center and Exhibition, set out on a mission to prove the existence of the elusive creature in the Pacific Northwest forests. He was joined by colleagues from the U.S. Forest Service. Deep in the woods, they stumbled upon something that left them speechless, an unusual creature lurking between trees. Byrne even found strange hair and a piece of skin several feet up off the ground, which he carefully collected and sent to the FBI, hoping for confirmation of his Bigfoot encounter. Byrne received a response from the FBI, then led by J. Cochran Jr. for a scientific analysis of the samples. But for decades, the FBI's response remained a complete mystery. Then, in a recent twist, the long-hidden Bigfoot files from the 1970s resurfaced. Surprisingly, the FBI confirmed they did analyze Byrne's evidence. But the results weren't what he hoped for. The hair samples, according to the FBI, belonged to a deer, not a legendary beast. This was a blow to Byrne, who had been seeking evidence to support his belief in Bigfoot. But a lingering question remained. If the hair was indeed from a deer, then how could the massive footprint they found, nearly 17 inches long and 7 inches wide, be explained? The mystery of Bigfoot continues to intrigue and beckon curious minds deeper into the woods, leaving the question of its existence still hanging in the air. Number 15. Fairy Circles In the scorching eastern Namib desert, geologists have been baffled by strange formations for decades, circles of bare earth surrounded by healthy grasses like a work of art. Theories flew thick and fast, from termites and poisonous chemicals to even alien intervention. But the truth, as sometimes happens, is far less extraordinary. Stefan Getzen, a desert ecologist, spent three years collecting data and studying these fairy circles. His team's findings revealed a fierce battle for survival amongst the plants in this harsh environment. Let's look closer. Plants on the circle's edge have longer roots, allowing them to snatch water more effectively, leaving the central area parched and devoid of vegetation. So why the circular shape? It's all about maximizing water access. This circular design minimizes competition between the plants, forming a mathematically elegant pattern known as a touring pattern. And these fairy circles aren't unique to Namibia. They've been spotted in the Australian outback, too. While various explanations exist, the mystery of the fairy circles still persists. Number 14. Face on Mars The year is 1976. NASA's Viking mission stumbles upon a site that ignites the world's imagination, the face on Mars. Carved into the alien landscape of the Cydonia region, this human-like visage sparks a frenzy of speculation. Was it a natural rock formation, as NASA cautiously claimed, or a relic of a bygone Martian civilization? Was this the long-sought evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, a silent testament to life beyond Earth? The public's fascination was immediate and enduring. The face quickly became a pop culture phenomenon, inspiring countless theories and fueling imagination. Some saw it as a colossal monument, a testament to the achievements of an advanced alien race. Others envisioned entire cities crumbling in the Martian dust, remnants of a lost world. However, as science delved deeper, the initial awe gave way to a more measured understanding. Higher resolution images from subsequent missions revealed the truth. A play of light and shadow, an illusion sculpted by the relentless elements. The face was nothing more than a natural rock formation, its human likeness, a product of pareidolia, our tendency to see familiar shapes in random patterns. Number 13. Hestalen Lights In the sleepy Norwegian valley of Hestalen, weird lights have been freaking people out for almost a century. No, seriously. Since the 1930s, these strange balls of light have been flitting across the night sky, leaving everyone confused. Sure, it's easy to brush them off as just another UFO story, but these things are different. They've been around for a long time, so even scientists got involved. A guy named Erling Strand, a computer whiz, and the Norwegian Defense Study Establishment, basically Norway's Ghostbusters, rolled up with all their gadgets, radar, Geiger counters, you name it, 
even built a special observatory to keep an eye on these things. And guess what? These lights are show-offs. They do all sorts of crazy stuff, floating slowly or zipping around like a hyperactive pinball for anywhere from a few seconds to a whole hour. Witnesses say they're about the size of a car, adding another layer to the weirdness. So, what the heck is making these lights? Well, nobody knows for sure. Some folks think it might have something to do with all the radon gas floating around the valley, while others have a wilder theory. The whole valley is basically a giant battery, so rocks on one side of the valley are loaded with zinc and iron, while the other side is overflowing with copper. A river runs right in between, acting like a giant battery separator. Then, throw in some water flowing from nearby sulfur mines, and voila a natural light show. Sounds pretty out there, right? Well, that's the thing. Scientists aren't sure if this natural battery theory holds water, pun intended. The truth is, the mystery of the Hestalen lights remains as dark as the night sky they illuminate. But hey, that's what makes them so darn interesting. Number 12. The Nazca Lines Imagine a giant Etch-a-Sketch in the middle of the desert. That's basically what the Nazca Lines are. They're massive drawings etched into the ground in Peru, covering a whopping 170 square miles. These aren't just your average doodles, though. We're talking cool stuff like spiders, hummingbirds, even a killer whale. There are also plants, mythical creatures, and geometric shapes thrown into the mix. Pretty impressive, right? The Nazca lines date all the way back to 500 BC, with most of them being made by the Nazca people. These folks were pretty smart, and might have even used the lines to help with watering their crops in the dry desert. The lines were first spotted by an archaeologist in the 1920s, but they really gained fame when airplanes became more common in the 1930s. You can actually see them pretty well from the ground, too, but they're definitely more impressive from above. One thing that keeps everyone confused is what these lines actually mean. Some think they might be connected to the stars, others say they were used for religious purposes, and there are even theories about them being water maps. The truth is, nobody knows for sure, and since the Nazca people didn't leave any written records behind, it's a real mystery. But that's part of what makes them so cool. They're a reminder of the amazing things ancient civilizations were capable of, and they leave us wondering what other secrets they might hold. Number 11. Time Traveling Hipster Back in 2010, the internet went wild over a photo from 1940, claiming it showed a time-traveling hipster. This dude stood out like a sore thumb in a crowd of suits and hats, rocking sunglasses, a cool graphic tee, and a zip-up sweater. He even had a nifty little camera in his hand. This pic, originally displayed at the Braylorn Pioneer Museum in 2004, sent conspiracy theorists into overdrive. Time travel, aliens, you name it. But before you grab your tinfoil hats, hold on a sec. Turns out the time traveler wasn't actually from the future. Skeptics pointed out that his clothes, while maybe a bit unique, weren't totally out of place for the 1940s. Those fancy sunglasses totally existed back then. The logo on his shirt belonged to a hockey team playing at the time. And that camera? Just a popular model from the era. So no time travel here, just a stylish dude who stood out from the crowd. While the mystery loses its sci-fi charm, it's a good reminder that the past can sometimes look pretty strange through the lens of the present. Who knows, maybe in a hundred years, someone will look at a picture of us and think we're from another planet with our skinny jeans and smartphones. Number 10. Madonna with St. Giovannino In Florence, Italy, a painting called Madonna with St. Giovannino is causing a stir among tourists, and not just for its religious themes. This 15th-century artwork by Domenico Ghirlandaio features a mysterious object hovering in the sky that has sparked wild theories. The painting is part of the Loser Bequest, a collection of over 30 artworks donated to the city by American collector Charles Alexander Loser in 1928. While the collection is impressive, it's this particular painting that gets everyone talking. So what's the big deal? It all boils down to the strange, oval object floating above the Virgin Mary's shoulder. Alien enthusiasts are going bananas, claiming it's a UFO beaming down light rays. They even see the Virgin Mary shielding the children from this extraterrestrial threat. But hold your horses. Art historians have a different take. They point out that artists often included symbolic elements in their work, and this object could simply be Ghirlandaio's artistic interpretation of an angelic presence, a shining star, or even a forgotten Christian symbol. The truth, as with many things in life, remains a mystery, 
Is it a UFO, a religious symbol, or just the artist's creative license? That's up to you to decide. But one thing's for sure, this painting is definitely an attention grabber. Number 9. Black Knight Satellite In 1998, NASA's first space shuttle mission to the International Space Station took an unexpected turn. A photo captured a strange object, known as the Black Knight Satellite, orbiting Earth. It's a mystery that has captured the imaginations of both scientists and conspiracy theorists. But is it a relic of an ancient alien civilization or just a case of mistaken identity? For some, like astronaut Jerry Ross who claimed it was a stray thermal blanket, the explanation was simple, but others saw in it a 13,000-year-old satellite, proof of extraterrestrial intervention. This theory drew connections to Nikola Tesla's claim of receiving messages from space during his experiments in Colorado Springs. However, scientific analysis revealed these signals to be natural phenomena. Adding fuel to the fire, a 1927 incident involving radio operator Jürgen Hals hearing strange echoes during his transmission was linked to the Black Knight. While Hals initially believed it was alien communication, it was later explained as a natural radio phenomenon Further muddying the waters, the U.S. Navy's discovery of an unidentified satellite in 1960 turned out to be a piece of the Discoverer 5 satellite. This series of seemingly unrelated events has become entangled in a web of conspiracy theories, leaving the true nature of the Black Knight a perplexing enigma. So, is it an alien artifact or an elaborate misunderstanding? The answer, as is often the case, is likely less dramatic. The Black Knight satellite is most likely a combination of unrelated occurrences. Tesla's misinterpreted signals, Hal's natural radio echoes, a news article about a satellite, and an astronaut encountering a loose thermal blanket in space. The truth, it seems, is stranger than fiction, but not necessarily extraterrestrial. Number 8. Cooper Family Photograph The Cooper Family Photograph is truly the scariest picture one can ever see. So the story goes, the Coopers, turns out it was actually the Coppers, but we'll get to that later, snapped a family pic in their new Texas home, and wham bam, a creepy figure appears hanging from the ceiling. Sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. The internet, of course, went wild. Was it a ghost? A demon? An alien hitchhiker? Theories flew faster than you can say supernatural. But before you grab your sage and banish the spirits, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Mick West, a skeptic, decided to dig into the photo's origins. Turns out, the image might not be as ghostly as everyone thought. Through some online forum sleuthing, a few interesting details emerged. First, the family's name was actually Copper, not Cooper. Second, someone came forward with another picture from the same time frame, connecting them to the image. Here's where it gets interesting. It seems the original photo of the coppers was tampered with, turning an ordinary family moment into a spooky internet legend. The most likely explanation? The figure in the photo was most likely a dancer in street clothes, caught mid-jump during a publicity shoot. This explains the unusual pose and the necklace hanging correctly for an upright person. So, the ghost was debunked, but the mystery remains. Who edited the photo? And how did the Coopers, oops, coppers, get their name attached to the whole thing? Number 7. Sasquatch Skull on Mars? Bigfoot on Mars? Forget Area 51. The real conspiracy is happening on Mars. A photo captured by NASA's Curiosity rover had some folks buzzing about a possible Martian skull. The image enhanced with some dramatic shadow effects shows a rock formation that vaguely resembles a skull. It even has what could be interpreted as eye sockets, a nose, and a jawline. This has led some to jump to conclusions about extraterrestrial visitors, or even a Martian Bigfoot. However, before we start booking flights to the Red Planet, it's important to remember that our brains are wired to see familiar shapes in random patterns, a phenomenon called pareidolia. This is why we see faces in clouds, rabbits on the moon, and apparently Bigfoot skulls on Mars. This isn't the first time our imaginations have run wild on the Martian surface. In 1976, the face on Mars turned out to be just a trick of light and shadow. Other intriguing shapes, like a rock resembling an ancient statue and a fish formation, have also sparked speculation about little green men, only to be debunked by science. So, while the Martian skull photo is certainly eye-catching, it's most likely just another example of pareidolia at play. 
The vast and desolate Martian landscape continues to fuel our curiosity about the universe. But for now, it seems Bigfoot will have to stick to Earth. Number 6. Hook Island Sea Monster The waters of Hook Island, Queensland, Australia, gave birth to an aquatic mystery in the mid-60s. This was the Hook Island Sea Monster, a creature straight out of a fever dream, a giant living tadpole. The story goes that Robert Le Sarec, an adventurous Frenchman, set sail with his family in December 1964, eager to explore the hidden depths of Stonehaven Bay. Their idyllic voyage took a sharp turn when Mrs. Le Sarec's eagle eyes spotted something lurking beneath the waves. A monstrous tadpole unlike anything they'd ever seen. Scrambling for their camera, they captured the beast on film, while a brave, or maybe slightly foolhardy, crew member De Jong took a plunge for a closer look. Their initial assumption that it was a deceased leviathan was quickly shattered as the creature sprang to life, jaws agape, and made a beeline for them. Needless to say, a hasty retreat back to the boat was in order. The tail, complete with the creature's bizarre features like top-mounted eyes and a finless body, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Was it real? A figment of collective imagination? Or an elaborate hoax? Theories swirled, ranging from a colossal swamp eel to a man-made fabrication. However, Darren Naish, a renowned paleozoologist, delivered the final blow. After a thorough examination of the evidence, including Lacerec's past travel plans and the blurry photograph, he concluded that the whole thing was likely a hoax. Number 5. Naga Fireballs of the Mekong River In the misty nights of October and November, a fiery spectacle unfolds on the Mekong River in Thailand. Glowing red orbs, known as the Naga Fireballs, rise from the water's surface, casting an eerie dance of light. These Mekong lights, or Naga Dancing Fireballs, as locals call them, range in size, and can shoot up to 600 feet in the air before vanishing as mysteriously as they appeared. The cause of this fiery phenomenon remains a burning question, with several theories vying for the answer. One theory points to swamp gas, the product of decomposing organic matter, building up methane pockets that ignite on contact with oxygen, creating fiery bubbles. Others suspect phosphine gas, a flammable gas formed in the marshy areas of the river, might be the culprit. However, some scientists propose a more exotic explanation, free-forming plasma spheres. These charged spheres could be formed by electrical discharges from the river's surface. Skeptics, however, find this theory sparking a few questions, as it would require voltages far exceeding what typically occurs naturally. Beyond the scientific debate, the Naga fireballs hold deep cultural significance. Locals believe they are linked to the Naga, a serpent-like creature said to reside in the river. According to their folklore, the Naga rises from its slumber during the Buddhist Lent season, coinciding with the appearance of the fireballs, to honor the return of Buddha in the form of a Naga. Some even point to a controversial 1973 photograph of American soldiers holding a giant river creature they supposedly pulled from the Mekong as proof of the Naga's existence. However, the authenticity of the photo remains murky at best. Number 4. Lunar Pyramids The mysteries of Egypt's pyramids have had us baffled for centuries, fueling endless theories about their construction. But what if the answer isn't buried in the sand, but written in the stars? Specifically, the moon. An ET enthusiast recently dug through high-resolution lunar photos snapped by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Among these moon snapshots, a curious sight emerged a pyramid-shaped object chilling in a crater. This, of course, sent the UFO community into overdrive. Self-proclaimed expert Scott C. Waring, known for his, shall we say, unconventional views, believes this intriguing building, a three-sided pyramid with a single, dark window, could be evidence of lunar visitors to Earth. But surprise, this isn't the first time pyramids on the moon have gotten alien enthusiasts all riled up. Back in 1972, a blurry photo from the Apollo 17 mission supposedly showed a black pyramid against a light background, sparking claims of a lunar civilization. Thankfully, the image archive revealed this pyramid was just a grainy photo of the lunar rovers, well, floor. So, are there really pyramids on the moon? The answer, as with many things involving aliens and conspiracy theories is, who can say for sure? While the photos are interesting, it's important to remember that pareidolia, our tendency to see familiar shapes in random things, is a powerful force. 
Until we have more concrete evidence, it's safe to say these lunar pyramids are likely just rocks playing tricks on our eyes. But hey, that doesn't mean they can't spark our imaginations and remind us of the mysteries that still linger in our universe. Number 3. Brown Lady of Raynham Hall The story of the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall is a chilling ghost tale that has perplexed and fascinated people for years. At the heart of it all is Dorothy Walpole, a woman of the Georgian era whose life took a dramatic turn when she had an affair before marrying a much older widower. Her life ended tragically at the age of 40, and over two centuries later, her alleged ghost appeared in what would become one of the world's most famous ghost photographs. This image, captured in 1936, sent shivers down spines and fueled countless supernatural claims. But fast forward 70 years, a twist emerged. A paranormal investigator named Alan Murdy, who was a barrister drawn to the strange, stumbled upon a dusty folder in the Cambridge University Library. This forgotten folder contained an in-depth investigation conducted by the Society for Psychical Research right after the photo surfaced. Their findings were surprising. They believed the ghostly image had a perfectly ordinary explanation. They suggested light leakage onto the photographic plate, potentially casting doubt on the authenticity of the apparition. Even with this information, the mystery of Raynham Hall remains. While the photo's validity may be up for debate, some believe Dorothy Walpole's spirit might still linger within the hall's walls, her legacy perpetuated by whispers of her continued presence. The Brown Lady, whether spectral figure or figment of imagination, continues to be a captivating enigma. Number 2. The 1916 Solway Spaceman In 1964, Jim Templeton, a firefighter from Carlisle, took a seemingly ordinary photograph of his daughter Elizabeth during a trip to Bergmarsh in Cumbria. But little did he know, this unassuming snapshot would launch him into the heart of a bizarre mystery that continues to baffle the world. The twist emerged as the photo developed, revealing a chilling figure standing eerily behind Elizabeth. Clad in a white spacesuit with a helmet and visor, the figure sent shivers down the spines of UFO enthusiasts. They were convinced it was a spaceman. Mr. Templeton, however, remained grounded. He adamantly insisted that he, his daughter, and his wife were the only ones present that day. The photograph ignited a media frenzy, swirling with speculation and theories. Was it a ghost? Did Jim or his daughter possess psychic abilities that manifested in the photo? The mystery deepened when two shady figures, identifying themselves only as number 9 and number 11, paid Mr. Templeton a visit. To add another layer of intrigue, a connection emerged with the botched launch of a Blue Streak missile in South Australia. Technicians there claimed to have seen two figures resembling the one in the photo near the launch site. However, investigations into these incidents failed to unearth any concrete evidence. Dr. David Clark, a UFO expert, dismissed the connection between the Cumbria sightings and the missile launch, attributing the photo anomaly to lens flare and the lack of photographic evidence for the other claims. Despite the skepticism, the Solway Spaceman photo remains an unsolved enigma. A testament to the power of the human mind to find meaning in the ambiguous, it continues to spark debate and ignite the imaginations of believers and skeptics alike. Number 1. The Levitating Man In the world of Welsh myths and illusions, one name stands out, Colin Evans. This self-proclaimed master of the spirit world claimed the ability to levitate, drawing in curious crowds with his daring stunts. But the truth behind his supernatural feats eventually came crashing down to earth. Evans, known as a spiritualist, conducted seances in dimly lit, often completely dark, settings to commune with spirits. His most famous moment came in 1937, when a photo taken during a seance at Wortley Hall in London supposedly captured him levitating in a flash of light. The image showed him suspended mid-air, seemingly defying gravity. However, upon closer inspection, a curious detail emerged. In all of his levitation photos, Evans' left hand appeared to be clutching a cable, and his feet were often blurry. This eagle-eyed observation led to the shocking realization. Evans wasn't defying gravity at all. He was simply jumping off chairs hidden in the darkness, the flashbulb capturing him mid-air before he landed. His fraudulent act was ultimately exposed in Regent's Park, where he attempted his levitation trick in front of a less gullible audience. The hostile crowd forced him to refund their money putting a definitive end to his theatrical performances. 
While little is known about Evan's life after his exposure, he certainly left behind a legacy, a healthy dose of skepticism when it comes to the extraordinary. These photos are real head-scratchers, right? Like, are they proof of little green men, ghosts with Instagrams, or just the universe messing with our minds? The truth is, out there in the vast cosmos, all sorts of crazy stuff happens. Some things we can explain with science, some things not so much. So, what do you think? Aliens, spirits, or something else entirely? Let us know in the comments. And if you're down the rabbit hole of the weird and wonderful with us, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this dive into the unexplained, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.